not even a year's time can deter the Root family for fighting from justice, sharing tears and memories tonight with a vow to never forget Sarah. Thank right. you for honoring yes. my baby, our baby girl. Appreciate it. A crowd of people huddle underneath a mass of blue balloons. Blue, Sarah Root's favorite color. An intersection now filled with hugs and tears. One year ago, filled with police after a car crash took Sarah's life. It's amazing a year later and everybody still remembers. For Michelle and Scott Root, Sarah's parents, it doesn't seem like a year since they last saw Sarah's face. It's sucked what we've had to go through, but the community's just been really, really gracious and, and loving and great. Among the people who turned out to remember is Stephanie Lewis, who has a piece of Sarah inside her. As Sarah unfortunately passed away and I received her kidney. And Stephanie is meeting Sarah's family for the first time on the year anniversary of their little girl's death and the day her life was saved. That was the hardest part for me was to come to terms with that, but as they're talking to her mom, she reassured me that this is what Sarah would have wanted because she was a giver. It's so heartwarming to know that Sarah was able to help her. For the Root family, this moment of pause only strengthens their mission to help catch Eswin Mejia, who police say drove drunk, then vanished before trial. There you go, Sarah. You're never forgotten. Letting go of balloons, but holding on to Sarah's memory that touched so many lives. It just reassures you that there's a lot more good people than bad. The Root family continues to champion against illegal immigration as when Mejia remains on the ICE most wanted list. Your 33rd and L, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7.